The 2024 Toyota Save Mark 350 race in Sonoma was nothing if not incident-filled. There were several drivers involved in incidents throughout the race. With 10 laps to go, the victory was fought between Chris Busher, Martin Truex Jr., and Kyle Larson. For a while there, it looked as though Truex would win, but he was unable to do so due to poor planning. He went on to blame his team for his shortcomings at Sonoma. With 10 laps to go, Busher was leading the field with Truex and Larson right behind him. However, Busher no longer had the pace to defend against the two cars. Hence, he lost position to both the cars behind him in the span of one corner. This gave Truex the lead. However, in the very next lap, he made a mistake and went wide, allowing Larson to take the inside line and take away the lead from Truex Jr. While fans were expecting the number 19 car to fight back, the team had not planned their fuel properly. Due to a shortage of fuel, Truex was forced to conserve fuel while racing at the front. He somehow managed to get to the last lap of the race, but as he was coming down the final corner, he lost fuel. He had no choice but to watch himself get overtaken by almost every car on the field. The number 19 car slowly rolled itself down to the finish line. Martin crossed the line in 27th place. This was a very disappointing result for Truex as he was one of the favorites to win the race. But you won't be disappointed with us as we bring you the latest news in NASCAR. So what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and let us do the rest. As Truex was walking back to his hauler, the media were able to get a hold of him for a quick comment on the race. Yes, it stinks, said Truex Jr. We worked hard all day to have a good finish and clearly ran out of gas in the last corner. So I don't know, one of them years, you know? During the previous race in Illinois, we saw Ryan Blaney go from leading the race to running out of fuel in the final parts of the race. So another race, another potential winner running out of fuel. Martin Truex Jr. gave a more detailed description of how it felt later on after the race. I'm not sure why we didn't try to save a little at the end, Truex said. I was clearly not going to catch Kyle Larson or pass him. It's a shame that we went around the last corner and went from second to wherever we finished. It sucks, but it was a tough day. And we had a good car. We battled and did a good job. We were going to have a good day, but just one corner short. Truex is clearly blaming his team for this loss. He does not understand why the team did not plan for the fuel properly. If they had just kept the fuel line in the car for a couple extra seconds, he would have been able to battle with Larson for the lead while finishing the race. Martin Truex's crew chief, James Small, had no idea where things went wrong. He was quite oblivious to the problem faced by the number 19 car. Here's what he said. We were at least half a lap in the good there. Obviously, we were a ninth of a lap short. Yeah, I have no idea. Yeah, it was good, considering we were back to dead last after we got turned around at the start of the race. You know, it worked out good for us the way the strategy played out, and the load of cautions had a shuffle of wins, he added. So yeah, unfortunately, no idea, and moving on. As Small said, the crew had a good strategy for the race despite the incidents that threw a few spanners in the works for Martin. However, the crew did not calculate the fuel usage properly. If they had, they would have seen the number 19 car in victory lane instead of the number 5 car. Martin Truex has had his share of shortcomings this year. He came close to winning a race a couple of times before, but was not able to seal the deal yet this season. This comes as a surprise as his teammates in Joe Gibbs Racing have been able to do so. Denny Hamlin has won three, while Christopher Bell has won two. Martin Truex Jr. and Ty Gibbs are the only two drivers in JGR who are yet to win a race this season. Despite the loss, Truex is not giving up. He thinks this race was positive for the number 19 crew as the pace seemed to be strong. It was a tough day, Truex said. I got spun out early and had to work hard to get some track position back. James, small crew chief, did a good job on our strategy. Our car was pretty good out front thought we were going to have a shot to win there and just couldn't quite get by the number 17, Chris Busher, quick enough. I finally cleared him, I made a mistake and the number 5, Kyle Larson, was right there to pounce, and then obviously ran out of gas, so it didn't matter. The Sonoma Raceway is always an interesting race in NASCAR. It's one of the only three road courses in the regular season. The first was the Circuit of the Americas in Austin, and the last will be the Chicago Street Circuit. The rest of the circuits on the calendar are all oval layouts. Road courses are an interesting change of pace for NASCAR cars, as they will have to become a bit more creative in terms of overtaking. 
Considering that the next-gen cars have more downforce, it allows the drivers to attack the tight corners with greater speeds compared to the previous era in NASCAR. In road courses such as Sonoma, the strategy also plays a vital role in winning the race. In ovals, the cars usually take more damage on right-side tires, but in road courses, both the tires will have more or less equal damage as a layout consists of a mix of left and right-hand corners. Kyle Larson was consistently good during the race in Sonoma. He was able to find the right balance in the car and his crew chief developed the right strategy for him. Despite the several cautions that were thrown throughout the race, Larson was able to keep the lead in his sights and it paid off. Larson has been having a positive couple of weeks. After a disappointing day while attempting the double a few weeks back, Larson's waiver has been approved by NASCAR, allowing him to compete in the playoffs this season. And now he's won his third race of the season. After Coke 600, Larson lost the lead in the points table, but this race win has put him back on top. Martin Truex, on the other hand, currently sits in fifth place in the points table. Given that there have only been nine race winners this season so far, he still has a chance of qualifying for the playoffs, even if he's not able to win a race. He currently has the most points among the drivers who are yet to win a race. However, this is not how Truex would want to qualify for the playoffs. Going into the next race in Iowa, Truex will once again be hoping to shoot for the race win. At the end of the day, that's what every driver wants to do, win the race. Besides, if he heads into the playoffs without a race win, he'll be under a lot of pressure and could risk getting knocked out in the very first race of the playoffs. With only 10 races to go in the regular season, Martin Truex Jr. and his crew need to figure out his issues with the car. The team is running the Toyota car, which is arguably the strongest car on the grid. While his teammates have been able to get into victory lane a few times, Truex has not been able to do so. But all hope is not lost yet. Given that he has come close a few races, there's a strong chance that Martin will get that win for his crew, securing his spot in the playoffs. Everything just has to come together for the number 19 team. But there's one more issue with this. During the first half of the season, JGR and Hendrick Motorsports were the only teams winning almost every race. However, in the second half of the season, the teams running the Fords have come into play, especially Penske. Back in Illinois, the three Penskes looked good to finish 1-2-3 during the race. However, Ryan Blaney's fuel issue allowed Denny Hamlin to take second. But still, Austin Sendrick won the race for Penske with Joey Logano in fifth for the team. So looking at the next 10 races, Martin Truex will not only have his teammates and Hendrick Motorsports to battle with, but also Penske and a few other teams running the Fords. Hence, the number 19 crew cannot afford to make any more errors. Do you think Martin Truex Jr. will be able to win a race during this regular season? If not, will he be able to stay where he is on the points table to qualify for the playoffs? Post your thoughts in the comments section below.